mean, it's so funny because part of me like sympathizes with that, and it, I, 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 I'm glad it's not that situation because if it was the other way around, I would completely be agreeing with you. Um, but yeah, we, we, we're definitely stoked that it's out and could, and couldn't be, you know, more proud of this record. And like I, like I've had this conversation a bunch of times this week, and it's it's one of those things where it was put off for us for so long. Um, that it still doesn't even feel like it is out really. So mm. every day, every day we kind of are pinching ourselves and realizing like, yeah, it's done, man. It's finally, it's finally out in the world. I think with, before I agreed to, to come back and, and pull this trigger, it was looking pretty dismal for the band and in a way that they were just not going to continue. Um, so. I think like they were looking to me to be that missing link. And then, you know, a after you lock down, you know, you're the, the band again, then it's who do you work with? And I think that's more important as far as who we were bringing in behind the scenes ag again to, to make this all a, th a thing and make it happen. So, um, yeah, I think we, between our producers and just tour managers and stuff of that nature, we were just really, uh, eager to, to get those, those things in place and feel good about like our crew and, and who's going to be taking care of us on the road. And we couldn't have been happier with, with who we've, you know, hired and stuff like that. It definitely enhanced it. You know, when, when you're producing an album, you need that producer there that, that knows the band, you know, hopefully knows the band the best, to the best of their ability and for us we got to reconnect with an old friend and one of the founding members daniel bronstein who produced this this album and that definitely enhanced our creativity and our our whole vibe in the studio and then on, on the road we were working with an amazing tour manager um and crew and and that that for us to have the optics look super professional was was a first for us and yeah, makes it makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, it was for the most part pretty easy. Uh, it just felt like I did pick up right where I left off. That's kind of the the term I use when anyone asks. And um, yeah, it just made me kind of realize how much I miss playing in a heavy band. And you know, after, therefore, I just. Every day, I was just super stoked showing up to the studio or showing up to practice. So, a lot of fun. For us, our fan base is so loyal. Uh, you know, we're not the biggest band in the world. We, you know, we don't have the biggest number or numbers or anything like that. And it's something that we like to be accountable for. But we kind of pay attention to, to to our fans the most and that kind of gets us through and um i th i think uh for us you know touring and and being being something on the road I, I i'm pretty sure you know we trust our fans enough for them to show up and 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 pack out the rooms and stuff so we we hope we hope it looks good i, I think everyone's in such a weird position where you don't really know until you you get out there and you start selling your product and you start touring again. So um, I have a strong feeling though, that our fan base will, 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 will always pull through for us like they have. Polaris are pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty into them as of late. Um, North lane will always be like a soft spot for me as far as, uh, a band I love and we got to tour with them there uh, one of our first times over there so I, I th and then you know like Amity Affliction and Thy Art is Murder I mean it's like obviously those are those are very easy answers but those are also like two bands that just did nothing but show us love and, and respect and gave us opportunities to tour with them while we're out there so like those those couple of guys those four bands are pretty much who I would shout out um yeah, but Polaris, I mean, I, I had no idea who they were, and they're just crushing. Because you guys are, the scene's so close-knitted and tight yeah. over there, so I was like, I wasn't, I wasn't for, for whatever reason, like, hearing tons of new new bands, and then, like, 
someone was like, you have to check out this band. And I thought they were from here. And then I quickly realized they're from Australia. And I was like, oh, wow, this is this is pretty cool. So, yeah, I, I just didn't I didn't I didn't realize they were from Australia. And I didn't really I didn't really like hear them until like, yeah, like 12 months ago. Yeah, I think we took them on their first tour in Australia. Uh, they were opening for us and they were just like the funnest group of guys and they kept me going like every day. I was like, oh, like tired and stuff. And they were just like <laughs> so stoked to be out. And I was like, dude, you guys, you know, I always kept in touch with them. And then now it's like they're cooler than I'll ever be. I tried to get them to, to go on the tour. Like, I don't even think they knew, but it was like, I was like, there's a span Ocean Grove. Like, can we fly them out for this U.S. tour that we're doing? And my management was kind of like, uh, like, I don't know about flying a band out for a tour. But yeah, I'm, I'm all, I've been like I've been like trying to get them to tour with us for a minute. So hopefully I can make it happen. Monster!